Okay, short overview of the Kiev 88, and just some of the, show you some of the functions of the camera, some of the things to be aware of. Um, the first thing I've been told about this camera is never force it to do anything. If something seems like it's not moving right, chances are there's a step in the process you forgot, or an interlock, or a dark slide, or something in the camera that you forgot to do, or you forgot to cock the camera. Speaking of cock the camera, I always uh, leave the camera in the cocked mode, um, and uh, the way you can tell that the camera is cocked, you can look at these dots down here. You'll notice there's two white dots, one on the camera, one on the one on the, the film back. Uh, that means it's always ready to go. So if you've got a white dot down there, it means the camera's cocked. You can change the shutter speed. The only time you can change the shutter speed, the way you change the shutter speed is you pull this out and it comes out very easily and you just turn it. Uh, the only time um, you should change the shutter speed is only time you can change the shutter speed is when the camera's cocked. Uh, I think the only time you can remove the lens is when the camera's cocked. And to remove the lens, there's a button down here to do that. This button over here is a shutter release button. And over on the side here is the depth of field preview button. Um, so, so, so to use the camera, like I say, the procedure is uh, pop up the magnifier, pop up the, the viewfinder. Uh, there's also a magnifier in here that you can push this little button here and pop it up. I use this all the time. Um, so pop up the view, pop up the viewfinder. Co make sure the camera's cocked, and it'll be cocked if this is a little tight. And if you got a white button there, or a white mark there, uh, push the shut and change your shutter speed, and then push the button. Okay, and then immediately cock the camera again, and you're ready to go, and you can do anything. Um, one thing, uh, one, one thing I, I had. Okay, one thing I forgot was before you take a picture, you're going to have to pull the pull the dark slide out. Okay, I had it pulled out partly. There's, if the dark slide's in all the way, um, you're not going to be able to push the shutter, or the shutter won't the shutter won't do anything. I'm pushing the shutter now; nothing happens. But as long as you pull it out a little bit, I mean, when you're taking a picture, you need to take it out all the way. But you can just pull it out a little bit. And to, you know, to do your test fires and stuff without film. So again, cock it, pull the dark slide out, press the shutter, and then you'll notice down here both of these are red, uh, meaning that you need to cock it. Um, incidentally, uh, in the man in the in the online manual, there's a description of what the these two indicators mean. It's really really important that. Um, they both match up, so they're both red, they're both uh, white at the same time, because if they're not, um, you're not gonna, be able to, not gonna be able to shoot. In other words, the, the film back might not be in the ready mode, or the body might not be in the ready mode, so it's always best keep the camera body cocked, and after you load the film, make sure you're on the white mode here. <clears throat> so quick thing about loading film. Again, here's your dark slide, <clears throat> excuse me. And you can see, if you look here, you can pull the dark slide out, you can see the, how it, uh, how it's, there's like a little interlock there, so it won't allow the shutter to fire if the dark slide's in. Um, so, okay, so to take this off, you just turn this quarter turn, the back comes off, you load the film, and there's a, one, one little tricky thing about loading the film is, uh, the film, you, you can't probably see it on the video, but there's a little pressure plate here, the film needs to go underneath the pressure plate over here. Um, and then when you put the, the film back in, and you really need to follow the instructions on this exactly, sometimes this doesn't go back in, and you have to uh, give this a little bit of a turn over here. Um, just th this you have to fiddle with a little bit sometimes. Uh, or I actually think it might be this gear here that you need to turn. Um, and, it, and like I say, you have to. Th this is something you have to fiddle with a little bit. And okay, there it goes. And it's all described in the in the user manual how you how you do that. Um, and then uh, and it's very important follow the directions on how to get this uh, so the so the indicator reads frame one, and this gets to the white white uh, uh, white position. And like I say, it's it's pretty strange. You, you got to turn back, you do go back and forth, and but just if you follow the instructions, you'll be all right. So there's a short overview of the Kiev 80.